let's open with a word of prayer. This is what I would be. Thank you for this morning. Danke für diesen Morgen. And thank you that we can now study the truth here. Und danke, dass wir jetzt deine Wahrheit hier studieren können. We ask for your presence and guidance through this study. Und wir bitten um deine Gegenwart und auch Führung durch dieses Studium. Please help us to pay attention and help us to follow everything. Bitte hilf uns, dass wir aufmerksam sind und dass wir allem folgen können. Ich danke dir und bitte das im Namen Jesu. Amen. Okay. So, um, I was going through this um, evening study last night. I had some thoughts and I thought I would do this this morning. Also, wo wir gestern in der Abendandacht waren, da hatte ich ein paar Gedanken und ich dachte, wir machen das heute Morgen. Okay, so, it's bringing some old things together and hopefully we'll confirm something in our, in our mind. Und das bringt einige alte ähm, Dinge zusammen und hoffentlich wird das ähm, Sachen in unserem Verstand bestätigen. Okay, so we looked at these verses briefly last night, but if you go to Daniel 9. Und, ähm, wir haben uns diese Verse kurz angeschaut gestern, aber gehen wir zu Daniel 9, Vers 20. Vers 20. It says, And whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel. So, what is Daniel doing right here? Was macht Daniel hier? What, what experience is he relaying? Welche Erfahrung ähm, liegt er da? Sign Yes, he's in the sign crying space and he's Following the um, the principles laid out in Leviticus 26, right? Also, er hat diese Seufzen und Klagen Erfahrung und er ähm, zeigt uns hier diese Prinzipien von 3. Mose 26. Okay, he's confessing his sin, sins of his fathers, right? And uh, pleading for the covenant uh, promises to be reinstated. Er bekennt seine Sünde und die Sünden seiner Väter und er fleht darum, dass diese Bundesverheißungen wieder eingesetzt werden. Okay, it says, uh, whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel and presenting my supplication before the Lord my God for the holy mountain of my God. Yet whilst I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. Right, so it brings them to the... Ninth hour, right? Das bringt ihn zu der neunten Stunde. Just like Elijah on Mount Carmel. So wie bei Elia auf dem Berg Carmel. Okay, And suddenly Gabriel appears to him, right? Und plötzlich erscheint ihm Gabriel. And he's having this, this revelation, right? Und dann hat er diese Offenbarung. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O oh Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. So... What, what is he coming to do? Was kommt er zu tun? Yeah, he's, he's give him the revelations of those things that he's been praying and asking for, right? Gibt ihm jetzt die Offenbarung für die Dinge, um die er gebeten und ähm, ja, gefleht hat. Okay, so last night we we're reminding ourselves that right here the book is unsealed, right? Gestern Abend haben wir uns daran erinnert, dass hier das Buch entsiegelt ist. But the unsealing is not a, an immediate revelation of everything in there, right? Weil das Entsiegeln ist nicht eine sofortige Offenbarung von allem, was darin enthalten ist. Right? It's, it's obviously a progressive revelation because you, you can't immediately understand everything in one go. It's all built things on top of each other, right? Das ist natürlich eine progressive Entfaltung. Man kann nicht auf einmal alles darin verstehen, sondern es baut aufeinander auf. Okay, and, um, and that's what we're in right now. You can see the amount of light that the Lord is unfolding to us, right? Und darin befinden wir uns jetzt, weil wir können sehen, diese Menge an Licht, die der Herr uns entfaltet. Okay, but we're not to rest satisfied, right? We're to constantly be 
praying and asking the Lord for him, for understanding, right? Und wir sollten damit aber nicht zufrieden sein, sondern immer beständig den Herrn bitten um ähm, noch mehr Licht. So Gabriel now comes and he's going to open to his his mind, right? Gabriel kommt jetzt und er wird jetzt äh, die Dinge seinem Verstand öffnen. Okay, it says at the beginning of thy supplication the commandment came forth and I am come to show thee for thou art greatly beloved therefore understand the matter and consider the vision 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy right so in this vision historically there were there was lots of different things that happened in a chronological fashion right also in dieser vision da gab es historisch viele ähm, dinge die in chronologisch stattgefunden haben okay but we know all these time prophecies they they all lead down to the end right wir wissen dass all diese zeitprophezeiungen alle hier zum ende führen 1260, the 1230, the 2350, the And here in this uh, 70 weeks there's also different Parts to it, right? Und in diesen 70 Wochen, da gibt es auch verschiedene Teile, die dazu gehören. Okay, in Vers 24. Vers 24. So 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins, right? So when sins come to an end, it's the temple is cleansed, right? Wenn die Sünden zum Ende kommen, dann werden, sind die Sünden gereinigt. Right? Da ist der Tempel Okay, that temple is speaking about us, right? Und der Tempel spricht über uns. And to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up the vision, which also brings you to the end, right? Und die Vision zu versiegeln, das bringt uns hier auch zum Ende. And to anoint the most holy, means to fill your heart with the Holy Spirit, Und right? Das Allerheiligste zu sein, das bedeutet, dass dein Herz gefüllt wird mit dem Heiligen Geist. Okay, verse 25. Vers 25. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto Messiah the Prince. Right? So, when Christ went into the temple for the first time, what was he announcing? Als Christus in den Tempel ging zum ersten Mal, was hat er dort ähm, angekündigt? What was he in? Yeah, the, the work, so this work for three years was to cleanse the human heart of every defilement, right? Das Werk dieser drei Jahre war das menschliche Herz von jeder Verunreinigung zu reinigen. Okay, and so that, you know, so that we, at the end, right, you can see Christ, right? Damit wir dann am Ende Christus sehen können. Okay, so from the going forth the command to restore and to build Jerusalem. Jerusalem is his people, right? Jerusalem is sein Volk. Unto the Messiah. The Messiah is the Savior, the Anointed One, right? Der Messiah is der Gesalbte, also der Retter. Shall be seven weeks and three score and two weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall even in troublous time. What's the wall? Was ist die Mauer? The, the law reinstated, right? Das ist das Gesetz, wenn es wieder eingesetzt And it's, it's been rebuilt in what sort of time? Und in was für einer Zeit wird es wieder aufgebaut? A, a troublous time, right? In einer trübseligen okay. Zeit. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off. Means that it's marking the point where you go to the cross, right? Das markiert den Punkt, wenn du zum Kreuz gehst. But not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. So we know that when Christ went to the cross, it was the destruction of Jerusalem, right? Right. So you can see symbolically all those things are pointing down to this waymark, right? And this Daniel is standing there asking. He's been sighing and crying. 
right in, in this time, and right here, Gabriel comes and reveals it to him, right? Daniel, er steht jetzt hier und er hat gesäuft und geklagt in dieser Zeit und jetzt kommt Gabriel zu ihm und offenbart es ihm. Okay, and he's to lead the people to do the same, right? Und er soll das Volk dazu führen, dass sie dasselbe tun. Okay, so, in, and we spoke about this last night, in these verses, there are therefore two Jerusalems, right? Und wir haben darüber gesprochen, gestern Abend, dass in diesen Versen, also, kann man zwei Jerusalem sehen. Okay, the one that's going to be rebuilt, anointed, with a wall surrounding it, right? Das ist eine, was wieder aufgebaut wird, gesalbt wird und diese Mauer wird ähm, da, also ringsum sein. And the one that's going to be destroyed, right? Und dasjenige, das zerstört werden wird. Okay, two Jerusalem, right? <coughs> zwei Jerusalem. Where, where do we find them? <coughs> Wo finden wir sie? In Galatians 4, in right? Galater 4. Okay, and in Galatians 4, you have the, the people that come out of Egypt at the appointed time, right? In Galater 4 hat man die Leute, die ähm, aus Ägypten herauskommen, zur bestimmten Zeit. They are the children of the promise. Children of the promise. They are the free, right? Das sind die Kinder der Verheißung, also die Kinder der Freien. Right, and then there's the Ishmael, right? Und dann gibt es Ismail. The, 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 it's... Hagar, right, the Egyptian, right? This is Hagar, the Egyptian. These are these Egyptian children that are of the flesh, das right? Sind diese Ägyptischen Kinder, die vom Fleisch sind. They don't want to leave Egypt, Sie right? Wollen Ägypten nicht verlassen. Okay, and the, the Egyptian children persecute the free, right? Die Ägyptischen Kinder, sie verfolgen die Freien. And th that's what's going to be manifested here, right? Das wird hier manifestiert werden. These two Jerusalems. Diese zwei Jerusalem. Yes, one... One is represented those that have done this work that Daniel is doing, confessing his sin, seeking for light and understanding, right? Diejenigen, die das Werk getan haben, so wie Daniel ihre Sünden bekannt haben und nach Licht und Erkenntnis gesucht haben. And he's preparing himself to receive the revelation, right? Der vorbereitet sich dadurch die Offenbarung zu erhalten. Okay, and he would be this new Jerusalem with the wall reinstated, filled with the Holy Spirit, right? Er wäre das neue Jerusalem, wo die Mauer wieder um, aufgebaut ist und er ist gefüllt mit dem Heiligen Geist. Whereas the, the one that gets destroyed would be these children of the flesh, right? Gegen diejenigen, die zerstört werden, die Kinder des Fleisches wären. Right, they, they don't make the preparation, Sie right? machen nicht die Vorbereitung. Right, everybody see that. Kann das yeah. sehen? Okay, so <coughs> just because um, <coughs> so go to go to this next quote. Ah, yes, that, that I was trying to remember why I put this quote here, but now I remember. Right, uh, go go to this next quote. Right? Because this next quote is referring to Galatians chapter 4, right? Dieses Zitat bezieht sich auf Galater 4. And in this quote, it, real, it points to Daniel 9 that we just read, Und in right? diesem Zitat ähm, weist es auf Daniel 9 hin, das wir gerade gelesen haben. Okay, it begins, it says, when the fullness of the time was coming. When is the fullness of the time? Wann ist die Fülle der Zeit? It's the time appointed in, in Galatians 4, right? Das ist die bestimmte Zeit in Galater 4. And that's where it's taken from, right? Da ist das genau. When the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his Son to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons, right? And when you're adopted as a son, you say, Abba, Father, because he fills you with the Spirit, right? Und wenn du als Sohn adoptiert wurdest, sagst du dann, Abba, Vater, weil du bist mit dem Heiligen Geist gefüllt. It marks the point where Christ became the anointed one, right? It marks the point where his children came out of Egypt and were baptized, right? Right? You see the correlation, right? Okay, in the next paragraph. The Savior's coming was foretold in Eden, right? Speaking about when he puts this enmity in your heart, right? Spricht darüber, wenn er diese Feindschaft in dein Herz legt. So he's going to change your heart from one that loves sin to one that hates sin, right? Er wird dann dein Herz verändern von einem, was die Sünde geliebt hat und das jetzt die Sünde hasst. 
Okay, when Adam and Eve first heard the promise, they looked for its speedy fulfillment. They joyfully welcomed their firstborn son, hoping that he might be the deliverer. But the fulfillment of the promise tarried. Those who first received it died without the sight. From the days of Enoch, the promise was repeated through patriarchs and prophets, keeping alive the hope of his appearing, and yet he came not. The prophecy of Daniel revealed the time of his advent. That's what we read in Daniel 9, right? So, in Daniel 9 yes. so it's also the fullness of the time, right? This is auch die Fülle der Zeit. And we're, as we were shown, all those things point to the same way mark, right? Wie gezeigt haben, all diese Dinge weisen auf dieselbe Wegmark. But not all rightly interpreted the message. Century after century passed away. The voices of the prophets ceased. The hand of the oppressor was heavy upon Israel. And many were ready to exclaim, The days are prolonged and every vision faileth. Right? So you can see all those visions are what the Millerites referred to this because in their time, but all these time prophecies were all pointing to their time, right? Also die Milleriten, die hatten sich auch auf diese, uh, diesen Vers bezogen, weil all diese Zeitprophezeiungen in ihrer Zeit haben um, darauf hingedeutet, auf ihre Zeit. Okay, and the ones that were fulfilled in Christ's time, they were also studying and understanding them, right? Doch diese, die sich, also die Zeitprophezeiungen, die sich in Christi Zeit erfüllt hatten, haben sie auch um, studiert und ja, verstanden. But prophetically speaking, they're line upon line are the same Point in time, right? Okay, next paragraph. Next absatz. But like the stars in the vast circuit of their appointed path, God's purposes know no haste and no delay. Through the symbols of the great darkness and the smoking furnace, this is now Abraham's vision, right? This is now Abraham's vision. God had revealed to Abraham the bondage of Israel in Egypt. And had declared that the time of their sojourning should be 400 years. After what he said, they shall come out with great substance. So what marks the point where they come out with great substance? Was markiert den Punkt, wenn sie mit großer Habe ausziehen? What did we do yesterday? Was hatten wir gestern studiert? When the nation is judged. Yeah, when, when the nation is judged, right? Wenn we'll die Nation gerichtet the fall of Gog, Putin, etc. Right? Das ist dann der Fall von Pharao, Gog, Putin und so weiter. Okay. It says, Afterward they shall come out with great substance. Against that word all the power of Pharaoh's proud empire battled in vain. On the self same day, appointed in the divine promise, it came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. So in heaven's council, the hour for the coming of Christ had been determined, right? When the great clock of time pointed to that earth, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, right? So it's marking the birth of Christ, right? It's, markiert die Geburt Christi. it's the combination of the human and the divine, right? It's the Verbindung von Menschlichkeit und Göttlichkeit. R right? And it's speaking about Jerusalem, this temple, right? Über Jerusalem, temple. That's what Daniel 9 was referring to, right? Hat sich Daniel 9 bezogen. Right? Richtig. Okay, and we are this temple, right? Wir sind dieser Tempel. Okay, so go to Jeremiah chapter 4 now. Gehen wir zu Jeremia 4. <coughs> oh, and the, the, the point I just want to make is that when you bring all these things together, the the dis, the time of trouble here, the destruction that comes at the end, is paralleled with this birth, right? The point I wanted to make, if we bring all these things together, then is this point, the end of the time of trouble, this destruction, is then parallel to the birth. So one is destroyed, the destruction of Jerusalem, right? Die einen werden zerstört, das ist die Zerstörung von Jerusalem. And one is rebuilt and filled with the Spirit, und right? Das andere wird ist wieder aufgebaut und mit dem Heiligen Geist gefüllt. When, when uh, Solomon finished the temple, what was the last thing that happened? Als Salomo den Tempel vollendet hat, was war das letzte, was geschah? 
Yeah, the fire came down from heaven and the God's presence filled that temple, right? Also das Feuer kam vom Himmel und um, dann hat das den Tempel gefüllt mit Gottes Gegenwart. So, we are now we are now making choices every day which temple we're going to be, right? Wir machen jetzt jeden Tag Entscheidungen, um, welchen Tempel wir sein werden. Are we going to be this temple that's clean, holy, prepared for God's spirit? Werden wir dieser Tempel sein, der rein und heilig ist und vorbereitet für den Heiligen Geist? Or are we going to be this one that trusts in our flesh and is preparing ourselves for destruction? Oder yeah. werden wir der Tempel sein, der das, ähm, das, der in sein Fleisch vertraut und ähm, für die Zerstörung dann ähm, vorbereitet? Ist? Okay, so let's go to Jeremiah chapter 4, right? Gehen wir zu Jeremia 4. And we've gone through this many times. This is this warning that's telling us that the destruction is Coming, right? Und das haben wir oft angeschaut, das ist diese Warnung, die uns sagt, dass die Zerstörung kommt. Okay, Vers 5. Jeremia 4, Vers 5. Declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land. Cry, gather together and say, Assemble yourselves and let us go into the defense cities. Set up the standard towards Zion. Retire, stay not, for I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. The lion has come up from his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy cities shall be laid waste without inhabitant. For this, gird you with sackcloth, lament and howl, for the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us. So what do we see here in relation to Daniel chapter 9? What can we see in Bezug auf Daniel 9? Okay, what was Daniel doing? He, he was doing this work here, right? So Daniel uh, is standing here marking the point where the trumpet is blown, right? Okay. So it, it's marking this point, right? He he had this experience, right? Now he blows the trumpet. And he's telling everybody else, look, this northern army is coming to destroy Jerusalem, right? Is that what Gabriel showed to Daniel? Hat das Gabriel dem Daniel gezeigt? Yes, right. Yeah. Okay, just go, go, let's go back and look, look at Daniel chapter 9, it says, um, Vers 26. It says, And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. Right? Same message, right? So the, re the revelation that all the prophets are pointing forward to this Destruction, right? Also die Offenbarung aller Propheten weist immer vorwärts auf diese Zerstörung. Isaiah said, how long? Isaiah hat gefragt, wie lange? He said, until the cities be destroyed, right? Die Antwort ist, bis die Städte zerstört sind. This false Jerusalem, right? Das falsche Jerusalem. Okay, but at the same time, there's the true one is going to be completed, right? Aber zur selben Zeit wird das Wahre dann abgeschlossen sein, oder vollendet. <coughs> oh, see, okay, so... They're, they're, and Jeremiah is blowing the trumpet and warning them about this great destruction coming from the north, right? So when, when he says, for this gird you with sackcloth, he means pray that same prayer that Daniel prayed, right? Wir dasselbe Gebet beten sollten wie ähm, Daniel. Confess your sins, the sins of your fathers, right? Don't, that mean, meaning all the things that you've repeated that, that was repeated in the past, right? Also bekenne deine Sünden und die Sünden deiner Väter und das bedeutet all die Sünden, die ähm, du wiederholt hast, die in der Vergangenheit verübt wurden. Okay, now go to verse 19. Gehen wir jetzt zu Vers 19. 
because it's very interesting. Now it, it comes to this point, it says, ja, das ist jetzt sehr interessant, es kommt zu dem Punkt. My bowels, my bowels, I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace, because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Right? It's this warning that's coming. It's meant to bring us to have this experience. Right? Das ist diese Warnung, die jetzt gesagt wird, von dem, was kommt, das soll uns dahin führen, dass wir diese Erfahrung haben. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtain, curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. I beheld... The earth, and lo, it was without form, and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. So what's Jeremiah seeing? Also, was sieht Jeremiah? How, how this is going to look like when it comes to pass. Wie right? es aussehen wird, wenn es stattfindet. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord and by his fierce anger. Right? So, he's, by faith, we have to believe that this is what's coming, right? Also, durch Glauben müssen wir eben glauben, dass das kommen wird. Right? All, all the cities are going to be laid waste. All die Städte werden verwüstet werden. And if we don't have enough evidence, every place that those Russians have come so far is like it's like a wasteland after they've been there, right? Wenn wir noch nicht genug Beweise haben, ähm, jede Stadt, zu der die Russen gekommen sind, ähm, das sieht eben aus wie ja, eine verwüstete Wildnis. Okay, so go, go to the next quote, right? Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. And it, you'll see what the, this, this quote quotes Jeremiah, right? Und dieses Zitat zitiert auch Jeremia. But it also links Isaiah and Joel uh, and, and other things together, right? Aber es verbindet auch ähm, Jesaja und, äh, und noch andere Dinge zusammen. Okay. It says... Um, The world is stirred with the spirit of war. The prophecy of the 11th chapter of Daniel has nearly reached its complete fulfillment. Soon the scenes of trouble spoken of in the prophecies will take place. Right? Now that's speaking, we, we've just studied another quote that used this exact phrase, right? Wir haben auch ein anderes Zitat studiert, wo es genau denselben Ausdruck benutzt. And it's pointing forward to the seven last plagues, right? Es weist vorwärts auf die sieben letzten Plagen. The time of trouble, Die right? Zeit der Trübsal. Okay. Which is the time of the end. Was die Zeit des Endes ist. Right? It's where, right here, where the, the king of the south is going to rise up against the king of the north and punish him, right? Wo der König des Südens dann gegen den König des Nordens aufsteigen wird aufstehen wird und ihn bestrafen wird. Okay, and that's because he, he's just done this work upon Jerusalem, und, right? Ähm, das passiert, weil er gerade dieses Werk über Jerusalem ähm, vollendet hat. Okay, it says, um, and, and just, I, 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 I should have put this quote in here, but we, we, we're familiar with this quote. Those verses we read there in Jeremiah 4 are paralleled To Genesis 1, right? Und wir kennen ja dieses Zitat, ähm, wo diese Verse von Jeremia 4, die wir gerade gelesen haben, mit 1. Mose 1 parallel gesetzt werden. Right? It says, I beheld the earth and lo, it was without form and void and the heavens and they had no light. That's Genesis 1, right? Vers 23. Das ist eben 1. Mose 1. Right? And that's what it's trying to get us to understand. What's going to take place here, it's going to look like how the earth was in the beginning, right? Das ähm, soll es uns zu verstehen geben, wie das eben aussehen wird, ist, wie die Erde am Anfang ausgesehen hat. God is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, right? Gott ist das Alpha und Omega, der Anfang und das Ende. 
So this destruction that's coming, it'll be so terrible, it'll look like the earth was in the beginning, right? Die Zerstörung, die kommt, die ist so schrecklich, dass es aussehen wird, wie es eben am Anfang ausgesehen hat. Okay, so, next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant, therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Now, in Ezekiel 38 and 39, the earth is represented by Russia, right? In Ezekiel 38 and 39, wird die Erde als Russland dargestellt. You've got Russia, Belarus, and Ukraine, that's represented this whole world, right? And this is ja Russland, Weißrussland, and um, Ukraine, that stellt die ganze Welt dar. Okay, so, next paragraph. Next Absatz. Um, Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, right? Same place, right? It's the same ort. And as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. The seed is rotten under their clods. The garners are laid desolate. The barns are broken down, for the corn is withered. How do the beasts groan? The herds of cattle are perplexed because they have no pasture. Yet the flocks of sheep are made desolate. The vine is dried up, the fig tree languisheth, the pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree. Even all the trees of the field are withered, because joy is withered away from the sons of man. Joel, chapter 1, 15 to 80, right? Joel 1, 15 to 18. So a nation has come upon my land, right? Eine Nation ist über mein Land gekommen. And that's what's marked at the moment, right? Und das ist im Moment markiert. But then Joel says that he is coming and he's going to lay the land desolate, right? Was a garden of Eden before them, but behind them shall be a desolate wilderness, right? It's the northern army, right? And then he goes on, he says, I am pained at my very heart. I cannot hold my peace because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet. Takes Jeremiah and marks it exactly the same, right? Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form, and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right? So, this very last sentence Jacob's going to be saved out of it, right? Und hier in dem letzten Satz, da sagt es, dass Jakob daraus errettet werden wird. Jacob represents this um, new Jerusalem that's been built, the walls been put around it in troublous times, right? Und Jakob äh, stellt jetzt dieses neue Jerusalem dar, was wieder aufgebaut worden ist und diese äh, Mauer wurde wieder aufgerichtet in trübseligen Zeiten. Okay, why is Jacob saved out of it? Warum wird Jakob daraus errettet? Er hat das Werk getan. I don't know why he's been blowing the trumpet. Jacob's the one that's wrestling in that time. He, he's hearing the sound of the trumpet. Also Jakob ist derjenige, der ähm, ringt in dieser Zeit. Er hört den Posaunenschall. Right? Richtig. Jacob was the one that heard that Esau was coming, right? Jakob war derjenige, der gehört hat, dass Esau äh, kommt. Esau is Edom, right? Sollte. Also Esau is Edom. Is the Edom, Moab and Ammon. Edom is the, is the, the papacy, right? Also Edom, Moab and Ammon. And davon is Edom das Papstum. Right? It's this hairy red man that was... Mm coming to slay his brother, right? This beharte, rote man, der, oder rothaarige man, der kam, um seinen Bruder zu töten. So he, he heard the sound of the trumpet and he entered into that work of sign and cry, right? Also er hat diesen ähm, Schall der Posaune gehört und ist in das Werk eingetreten des Seufzens und Klagens. And hence, he was saved because 
he was name was changed to Israel, right? Deswegen wurde er gerettet, weil sein Name wurde ähm, verändert zu Israel. And Israel is 12 tribes, Und right? Israel sind 12 Stämme. Right? Richtig. And the temple that's revealed at the end of Ezekiel 39 is this temple represent these 12 tribes, Und right? der Tempel, der am Ende von Ezekiel 39 offenbart ist, ist dann, das stellt dann diese zwölf Stämpe, äh, okay. Stämme dar. Now what's nice is go back to Jeremiah chapter 4. Und was jetzt schön ist, gehen wir nochmal zurück zu Jeremia 4. So we just read those verses that marks how the earth was in the beginning in Genesis 1, right? Wir haben gerade die Verse gelesen, die markieren, dass es so war wie am Anfang in 1. Mose 1. Okay, and we read this quote and she links Jeremiah 30, where Jacob is going to be saved when that time of trouble. Wir haben right? das in dem Zitat gelesen, dass sie Jeremia 4 vergleicht mit Jeremia 30, wo ähm, dann Jakob aus dieser Trübsal gerettet wird. So we go back to Jeremiah 4, right? Wir zurück zu Jeremia 4. Because Jacob, when he saved, is marking the new birth, right? Ja. Wenn Jakob gerettet wird, dann markiert es die Neugeburt. Das ist der Tempel, der vollendet ist. Okay, so Vers 27. For thus hath the Lord said, the whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. Why not? Warum wird er kein vollständiges Because there's going to be a remnant, right? Weil es einen Überrest geben wird. For this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it. I have purposed it, and I will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and bowmen. They shall go into thickets and climb up upon the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken, and not a man dwell therein. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee, and they will seek thy life. For I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail, and the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child. Where does Jeremiah take you to? Wohin bringt dich Jeremiah? Yeah, Revelation 12, right? 12. This woman that's sighing and crying to bring forth her first child, right? It says, the voice of the daughter of Zion, she bewaileth that bewaileth herself, that spreadeth her hand, saying, Woe is me. What does she say? Was sagt sie? Who says that? Wer ist mir? Wer sagt das? Isaiah, right? Isaiah. For my soul is wearied because of murderers, right? So, here's this beautiful church, right? And this is this temple that can't, can't, can't be completed until it brings forth this child. Right. Das ist diese wunderschöne ähm, Gemeinde, also dieser Tempel, und der kann nicht vollendet werden, bis ähm, sie dieses Kind gebärt. Ever we see that? Kann das jeder sehen? So, it, what it does is it brings you to the, the, the end is the beginning, right? Es bringt dich dann zum Ende, und das ist auch der Anfang. Where, where the earth is made completely desolate, just like it was in the beginning. Wenn die Erde komplett ähm, verwüstet wird, so wie es am Anfang war. But what's the last thing it marks there? Was ist dort das Letzte, was es markiert? What did we just read? Was haben wir gerade gelesen? I'm not asking the verse. What? What was? It? What's the point it's making, right? It's mark is leading you down. It's showing you that the earth's going to be desolate like it was in the beginning. But but what's going to be there? Also es führt dich dahin. Right, a child is going to be born. Ähm, wo die Erde dann ganz verwüstet wird und right. zu dem Punkt, wenn ein Kind geboren wird. So ja, yeah, is uh, that nation whom thou shalt serve, will I judge, right? Also diese Nation, der ihr dienen werdet, werde ich richten. Okay, but it's speaking speaking about the destruction of Jerusalem before he judges that nation, right? Aber er spricht 
wir eben über die Zerstörung von Jerusalem, bevor er diese Nation richtet. Okay. But out of that judgment will come this child. Right? Aber aus diesem Gericht wird dieses Kind kommen. Okay. Christ, when he was a child, came out of Egypt, right? Als Christus sein Kind war, kam er aus Ägypten. Right. Coming out of the water, it's this, it's this new birth, right? Das Herauskommen aus dem Wasser, das ist diese neue Geburt. Okay. So go to go to Genesis chapter one. Geht zu 1. Mose 1. Vers 1. So, it brings you to the end, and now it's the beginning, right? It brings you to the end, and now it's the beginning. It says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Why did he create the heaven and earth in the beginning? Why did he create the heaven and earth in the beginning? Because in verse 2 it says, in verse 2 it says, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. So everything had to be made New, right? Also alles musste neu geschaffen werden. Right? Richtig. And, and the, the temple in Ezekiel, uh, sorry, in Revelation 21 says, all things that have become new, right? In, in Offenbarung 21, wo es über den Tempel spricht, da sagt es, alle Dinge sind neu geworden. Everything has to be made new because everything has been broken down and destroyed. Right? Alles muss neu gemacht werden, weil alles wurde zerstört und niedergebrochen. Okay, it says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Who comes down now? Wer kommt jetzt herunter? The Spirit, right? The anointing, right? Das ist die Salbung. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. So, who's this light? Wer ist dieses Licht? Yeah, the temple, right? Also die geboren sind, also der Tempel. God's people, when they came out of Egypt, were to be a light to the Gentiles, Gottes right? Volk, als sie aus Ägypten herauskam, da sollten sie ein Licht für die Heiden sein. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Two classes, right? Sind zwei Klassen. Okay. The darkness, they are cast into outer darkness, right? Es stellt dann da, wenn sie in die äußerste Finsternis geworfen werden. Okay, light and darkness cannot dwell together. Right? Licht und Finsternis können nicht miteinander ähm, wohnen. Okay, now go to Proverbs chapter 8. Gehen wir jetzt zu Sprüche 8. It brings this to together, because it's marking the birth of Christ. Das bringt right? das zusammen, weil es markiert die Geburt Christi. Proverbs 8, Vers 22. Sprüche 8, Vers 22. It says, the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before this works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was, when there was no death, I was brought forth. Right? So, when there was nothing, when everything was a desolate wilderness, this birth, this temple was brought forth. Right? Als da nichts war, als alles eine verwüstete Wildnis war, da ähm, hat, wurde diese Geburt hervorgebracht. When there was no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were set or before the hills was, I brought forth. Now why does it say that, mountains and hills? Warum sagt es hier Berge und Hügel? Because we just read that all the mountains and hills were broken down, right? Weil wir haben gerade gelesen, dass alle Berge und Hügel ähm, niedergebrochen wurden. Okay. And it's marking the point, the, earth's go, the Lord's going to make the earth new, right? markiert dann diesen Punkt, wenn der Herr die Erde neu machen wird. Right? Richtig. Are, are, we, are we following? Mm -hmm. Folgen wir? Right, so, go to John 1. Gehen wir zu Johannes 1. In John 1, 1 is marking the baptism, right? Johannes 1, Vers 1 markiert die Taufe. The point that Christ came out of the water, right? Punkt, als Christus aus dem Wasser kam. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, right? In order for things to be made, He had to cut up, been brought forth, right? Also damit ähm, Dinge geschaffen werden konnten, musste er hervorgebracht werden. So we, we read there, He was brought forth before the hills and the mountains were made. Wir right? haben gelesen, dass er vorgebracht äh, wurde, bevor die Hügel und Berge gemacht wurden. Okay. So, 
all things were made by him. So he had to be there in order for those things to be made. Right? Also alle Dinge wurden durch ihn geschaffen. Deswegen er musste da sein, damit die Dinge geschaffen werden konnten. Right? Just like the temple, the, the new Jerusalem has to be there before the earth is made new. Right? So wie der Tempel, das neue Jerusalem da sein muss, bevor die Erde neu geschaffen wird. Okay, before the new Jerusalem can be there, the old one has to be destroyed, right? Bevor das neue Jerusalem da sein kann, muss das alte zerstört werden. Right? So the old Jerusalem being destroyed is the destruction of the earth, right? Das alte Jerusalem, das zerstört wird, ist die Zerstörung der Erde. In conjunction with the destruction of Babylon, In right? In Verbindung mit der Zerstörung von Babylon. Jerusalem destroyed, Babylon destroyed. Earth is annihilated, Jerusalem right? wird zerstört, Babylon wird zerstört. Die Erde ist jetzt ähm, flach gelegt. Okay, and out of that darkness it's going to come forth this great light, this temple, right? Und aus dieser Finsternis wird dieses große Licht, dieser Tempel kommen. And it says, all things were made by him, right? Alle Dinge wurden durch ihn geschaffen. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. What was in him? Was war in ihm? Life, right? Leben. Keep that thought, right? Halte ich das, um, also diesen Gedanken im Sinn. Vers 14. Vers 14. It says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, right? So it's this combination of the human and the divine, right? Diese Verbindung von Menschlichkeit und Göttlichkeit. It says, and we beheld his glory. Wir sahen seine Herrlichkeit. Right, so when the human and the flesh comes together, you behold his glory. Wenn right? also Menschlichkeit und Göttlichkeit zusammenkommen, dann äh, sieht man seine Herrlichkeit. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So, so it says the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Es right? das Wort wurde Fleisch und wohnte unter uns. So go to Exodus 25, verse 8. Geht zu 2. Mose 25, Vers 8. It says, and let them make me a sanctuary that I might what? Dwell among them. Dass ich unter right? ihnen wohnen möge. So when the sanctuary was completed by Solomon, what did the Lord do? Als das Heiligtum durch Salomo vervollständigt äh, wurde, was hat der Herr getan? Came and dwelt in, right? The kam, glory came down, right? Kam und wohnte darin, die Herrlichkeit kam runter. So, go to Exodus, cha uh, sorry, Ezekiel chapter 40. Gehen wir zu Ezekiel 40. This is this temple, right? Das ist dieser Tempel. Vers 2. Vers 2. And the visions of God brought he me into the land of Israel and set me upon a very high mountain by which was the frame of a city on the south. So where was this city? Wo war diese Stadt? On a high mountain, Auf right? Now jump to chapter 43. Geht jetzt zu, äh, where he finishes measuring it, right? Wenn er vollendet, es zu messen. Verse 1. Vers 1. Afterward he brought me to the gate, even the gate that looketh toward the east. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel came from the way of the east. And his voice was like a noise of many waters. And the earth shined with his glory. So the glory is now coming to the temple, right? Die Herrlichkeit kommt jetzt zum Tempel. And it was according to the appearance of the vision which I saw, even according to the vision that I saw when I came to destroy the city. And the visions were like the vision that I saw by the river Sheba, and I fell upon my face. So at the river Sheba, he saw this rainbow Right, he saw the day of rain. He saw Christ sitting on the throne. Right. Am Fluss Keba, da hat er diesen Regenbogen gesehen. Es war der Tag des Regens und Christus saß auf dem Thron. That's Revelation 10, right? Das ist Offenbarung 10. Right. The whole earth was full of His glory. Die ganze right? Erde war voll seiner Herrlichkeit. Okay. So it says, Ezekiel 43, verse 4. Jetzt Ezekiel 43, Vers 4. And the glory of the Lord came into the house by the way of the gate whose prospect is toward the east. So the Spirit took me up and brought me into the inner court and behold the glory of the Lord filled the house. Let there be light, right? Okay, this is this this birth, right? This is diese Geburt. Okay. 
So, this is Lucifer, right? Das ist Lucifer. The light bearer. Der Lichtträger. Right? Because God's people were to be the bearers of light when they came out of Egypt, Weil right? Gottes Volk sollten die Träger des Lichtes sein, als sie aus Ägypten herauskamen. Okay, so when we... We'll just add also verse 12. Is it 43 verse 12? Mm -hmm. Just want to read also it? Also Ezekiel 43 verse 12. It says, this is the law of the house. Upon the top of the mountain, the whole limit thereof round about shall be most holy. So this is the law of the house. So yeah. it's the top of the house and it's most holy. That's Daniel 9. Ah, okay. Holy, okay, yeah, yes. The, the most holy was anointed, right? Also, this is this the um, the top of the mountain? Top of the mountain, it says. Also, it's is on the top of the Spitze des Berges, and here it says that it's this is Allerheiligste, is so wie es in Daniel gesagt hat. Okay. Gesagt wird das Allerheiligste. Ja, in Daniel 9 sagt es auch das Allerheiligste. Wird gesagt. Ach so, gesagt. Okay, right, so. When, when God's people came out of Egypt, they were to be a light to the whole world, right? They were to be the light bearers, right? Sie means Lucifer, light bearer, right? Lucifer, okay, we see this in Ezekiel 16. This is marking where they come out of Egypt, right? It says, and say, thus saith the Lord God unto Jerusalem. To who? To whom? It's pointed to Jerusalem, Der right? Of Jerusalem. It's people, right? Sein Volk. Thy birth, so who was born? Wer war geboren? Jerusalem, 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 right? Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite and thy mother an Hittite. Telling us about our condition prior to this birth, right? Das erzählt uns über diesen Zustand vor unserer Geburt. It fits our condition very well, right? Und das passt sehr gut zu unserem Zustand. And as for thy nativity, in the day thou was born, thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in water to supple thee. Thou was not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. None I pity thee to do any of these unto thee, to have compassion upon thee, but thou was cast out in the open field, to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou was born. Right? It's marking this terrible experience that you have to go through. Right? And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thine own blood, I said unto thee, when thou was in thy blood, live. What did he say? Was he said? Live. Yeah, I said unto thee, when there was in thy blood, live. So what does he now have in him? Was, um, sorry, have? Was hat er in sich? Ah, was hat er jetzt in sich? You missed the point. I said earlier, right? Mark this point. What's in him? Was ist in ihm? Life. Life, right? So just go back to um, John. Gehen wir nochmal zurück zu Johannes. Vers, John 1, verse 4. Johannes 1, verse 4. It says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Right? Das Leben war das Licht der Menschen. Right? Now we're with us? Right. Okay, so, Christ has now delivered and filled it with life. Right? Jesus hat sie jetzt befreit und mit Geist mit, äh, mit Leben gefüllt. So the glory has come, the human and the divine is now combined. Also right? die Herrlichkeit ist jetzt gekommen, das äh, menschliche und göttliche ist verbunden. Okay, Vers 14. Vers 14. And thy renown went forth among the heathen, the heathen for thy beauty, for it was perfect through my comeliness which I have put upon thee, saith the Lord God. What did he put upon them? Was hat er auf sie gelegt? The wedding garment, right? Right? How will we follow, right? So, the end of the investigative judgment, Christ puts you on the wedding garment, and now he can come and execute judgment, right? Wenn du das Untersuchungsgericht, da zieht Christus dir das Hochzeitsgewand an, und dann kann er kommen, um das Gericht auszuführen. Right? How will we follow? Okay. So, go to... 
Ezekiel 28, right? Zu Ezekiel 28. We're also looking at this last night. Right? Das hatten wir uns auch gestern Abend angeschaut. Verse 12. Vers 12. It says, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus. And Tyrus is the papacy, right? Tyrus is the papacy. In this case, it would be Kirill, right? In this case, it would be Kirill. And say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom, and perfect in beauty. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, and the gold. The workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. This is when Christ had you on his heart, right? Das ist, wenn Christus dich auf seinem Herzen hatte. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Right? It's taking you back to the beginning, right? Das bringt dich zurück zum Anfang. Okay? But this is what he, he's become, right? Das ist er geworden. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou was Upon the holy mountain of God. Where was he? Wo war er? Is this, was this temple in the beginning, right? This light bearer. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. Where, where does the Lord find the iniquity in Wo findet der Herr diese Ungerechtigkeit in dir? In the investigative judgment, right? Im Untersuchungsgericht. So when he suddenly comes to his temple, right at the end, right? Wenn er dann plötzlich hier am Ende zu seinem Tempel kommt. He's measuring, right? Er misst dich. One is going to get filled with the glory, the other one is going to be destroyed. Der eine right? wird mit der Herrlichkeit gefüllt werden, und der andere zerstört. It's where he found this wickedness in him, right? Da hat er diese Bosheit in ihm gefunden. R right? Richtig. Okay. But go to the next quote. Gehen wir zum nächsten Zitat. No, he's, that's not where the iniquity is found in him. No, the, the Lord, the Lord is... I don't know why you're, why you're saying that. The, the, this is where the Lord allows him to do this work, right? Die Frage war, ob diese Ungerechtigkeit, die in ihm gefunden ist, dann nicht auch im Sonntagsgesetz ist, aber hier erlaubt ihm der Herr, das zu tun. The third angel's message is going forward, warning them, right? Die dritte Engelsbotschaft geht vorwärts, sie warnt sie. So the Lord is not punishing till the warning has been completed, right? Der Herr bestraft nicht, bis die Warnung vollendet ist. But he's the mystery of iniquity, so he's the, the dragon. That's that's got no bearing on what we're talking. He says until iniquity was found in thee, right? That is also this Geheimnis der Bosheit. Er spricht wie ein Drache, aber darüber sprechen wir nicht, weil hier sagt es, bis Ungerechtigkeit in dir gefunden wurde. Okay, there's iniquity in us right now, so. In uns ist ja auch gerade Ungerechtigkeit. Right? Richtig. Yeah. Okay, so it, it, it makes no difference it's the, when you get to the end, right? Deswegen es macht nicht yes. keinen Unterschied. Also es ähm, ist erst wenn du zum Ende kommst. Okay, Christ is able to save to the uttermost, right? Christus ist in der Lage bis aufs Äußerste zu retten. Okay, but then it goes the next quote. It says. Lesen wir das nächste Zitat. I ask your people to study the 20th chapter of Ezekiel. That's what we just read, right? Das haben wir gerade gelesen. The representation here made, while it refers primarily to Lucifer, this temple, right? Lucifer, dieser Tempel. The fallen angel has yet a broader significance. Not one being, but a general movement is described, and one that we shall witness. So ultimately, right, it's referring to this movement, right? Also es bezieht sich letztendlich auf diese Bewegung. So... This is about this movement when the Lord is going to make it this glorious temple, right? Um diese Bewegung, wenn der Herr sie zu diesem herrlichen Tempel machen wird. Okay, so go to the next quote. And Scott posted this quote last night. Und ähm, gehen wir zu dem nächsten Zitat, das hat auch Scott gestern Abend gepostet. It says Judas. Ich spreche über Judas. Now who is Judas? Wer ist Judas? Ein Tempel, 
Yeah, he's the son of perdition, son of right? In terms of Tyrus, the son of perdition. Right, and the Pope is the son of perdition, right? The Pope is the son of perdition. So Judas was this movement in the beginning, right? Also Judas was this movement at the beginning. Just so you see that, could just go to Matthew 10. Yeah, that you can see it. Go to Matthew 10. Remember, this temple is represented by 12, right? Erinnert euch, der Tempel wird durch 12 dargestellt. Verse 1. Matthäus 10, Vers 1. It says, and when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, how many? Wie viele? 12, right? 12. He gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease, right? So this is where he gives the 12 the power, the anointing, right? He, he, they become this temple. Da gibt er den zwölf diese Kraft, diese Salbung. Da werden sie dieser Tempel. It says, now the names of the twelve apostles are these: the first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the publican, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Lebius, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent. Fourth, and commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles, and enter. And he said, The Samaritans enter ye not. Right? So, it's where he, he sends them, filled with the power of God, to, to do that work. Right? But it says, Judas that betrayed him. Right? So, the Lord says, it says in John chapter 6, the Lord knew from the beginning who would betray him right Johannes 6 sagt es dass der Herr von Anfang an wusste wer ihn verraten wird This what he's telling us in in, in Ezekiel uh, 16 and uh, in Ezekiel 28 right? Das sagt er uns in Ezekiel 16 und Ezekiel 28 You are beautiful from the beginning right Du bist wunderschön von Anfang an Till iniquity was found in thee right Bis Ungerechtigkeit in dir gefunden wurde Okay So let's read this quote it says Judas had the same precious opportunities as had John to study and to imitate the pattern. To imitate the what? The pattern, right? What was Christ measuring when he came? The pattern, right? So he came to see who had been imitating the pattern, right? So John and Judas are these two temples. Also, uh, Johannes und Judas sind diese zwei Tempel. Now why does it say John and Judas? Warum sagt es Johannes und Judas? Because at the Last Supper, where was Christ? Bei, beim letzten Mal, also beim Abendmahl, wo war Christus? Yeah, he was sitting there and John was on his right side and Judas was on his left side, right? Also Christus saß dort und... Um, Judas war an seiner linken und Johannes zu seiner rechten. So in the temple, where did you find favor? Und ähm, beim Tempel, wo hast du Gunst erhalten? On the right side. Auf der rechten right? Seite. Okay. So was Christ and Lucifer, right? Ist Christus und Lucifer. Because the son of perdition is Satan, Weil right? Der Sohn des Verderbens ist Satan. So it's these two temples, das right? Die zwei Tempel. Lucifer or Lucifer, oder? Satan, Satan, right? You get the point? Könnt ihr den Punkt right. verstehen? Because he began as Lucifer and he ended up as Satan, Weil right? Er hat als Lucifer angefangen und als Satan geendet. He listened to the lessons of Christ and his character might have been transformed by divine grace. But while John was earnestly warring against his own faults and seeking to assimilate to Christ, Judas was violating his conscience, yielding to temptation and fastening upon himself habits of dishonesty that would transform him into the image of Satan. Right? So if we're if we're given in to these lusts and evil ideas and all these things that so easily beset us. Right. Wenn wir diesen ähm, Lösten nachgeben und den bösen Ideen und all diese Sachen, die uns so leicht umstricken. 
We're preparing ourselves that when Christ suddenly comes to the temple, he will find iniquity in us. Dann right? vorbereiten wir uns darauf, wenn Christus plötzlich zu seinem Tempel kommt, dass Ungerechtigkeit in uns gefunden wird. Hence, we have to sigh and cry, right? Deswegen müssen wir seufzen und klagen. We have to plead with the Lord to, to, to change our hearts, Wir right? müssen mit dem Herrn flehen, dass unser Herz verändert. Believe me, when I read this, I, I realize I'm just like that, right? Und glaub mir, wenn ich das lese, dann realisiere ich, dass ich genauso wie das bin. Okay, it says, these two disciples represent the Christian world. All profess to be Christ followers, but while one class walk in humility and meekness, learning of Jesus, the other show that they are not doers of the word, but hearers only. One class are sanctified through the truth, the other know nothing of the transforming power of divine grace. The former are daily dying to self and are overcoming sin. The latter are indulging their own lusts and becoming the servants of Satan. Now, we are the servants of Satan, right? Wir sind die and it's leading us down to this point where we're going to have this first birth, right? Das führt uns zu diesem Punkt, wenn wir diese erste Geburt haben werden. But the principles are exactly the same in order to achieve that birth, Aber right? Diese Prinzipien sind genau dieselben, um diese Geburt zu erhalten. Because the Lord is opening up the seven thunders, right? Der Herr uns die sieben Donner auf. It's light, it's grace, es right? Ist Licht, es ist Gnade. To, to, to inspire us and draw us closer to Christ, um right? Uns zu inspirieren und uns näher zu Christus zu that, that Christ can fulfill his promise in us <coughs> if we trust in it, right? Christus hier seine Verheißung in uns erfüllen kann, wenn wir in ihn vertrauen. Okay, so we are to be resisting these natural inclinations, Wir right? diesen natürlichen Neigungen widerstehen. And these natural inclinations just seem to be becoming more stronger, right? Diese natürlichen Neigungen, die scheinen einfach noch immer stärker zu werden. Because we're getting closer, right? And, but if we really trust the Lord, the Lord has given us more grace, Weil wir right? dem immer näher kommen, also ähm, dem Punkt immer näher kommen. Und, ähm, dem, aber der Herr möchte, dass wir mehr ihm vertrauen, dass er uns... Okay, so, so we must be pleading for this, right? So go to Isaiah 14, verse 12. The question is, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Where was he? In heaven. In, in what sense, prophetically? He's the church triumphant at the, in the beginning. He was in the church in heaven, right? It says, O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations, right? And he's destroyed all the cities, right? So at the end, it's going to be destroyed, right? Okay, now we are, we are choosing, do we join with him? Or do we resist him, right? So the question is, how art thou fallen from heaven? So let's look at how he fell from heaven. Just read these quotes and finish with these thoughts. It says, taking advantage of the loving, loyal trust reposed in him, by the holy beings under his command. He had so artfully instilled into their minds his own distrust and discontent that his agency was not deserved. Now Lucifer represents God's people, right? Okay. So this is speaking about somebody amongst God's people who's sowing dissent in those under him, right? He's dissatisfied. Eben Zwietracht seht unter den anderen, also der unzufrieden ist. Lucifer had presented the purposes of God in a false light, misconstruing and distorting them to excite dissent and dissatisfaction. So what does Lucifer do? Was tut Lucifer? He always tries to sow seeds of dissent, right? And pervert what God is really 
uh, trying to achieve. Er versucht right? immer Samen der Zwietracht zu sehen und das zu verkehren, was Gott um, sagen möchte. It says he cunningly drew his hearers on to give utterance to their feelings. That's not faith, right? Also, dass man den, seinen Gefühlen um, ausspricht, das ist nicht Glauben. Then these expressions were repeated by him when it would serve his purpose as evidence that the angels were not fully in harmony with the government of God. While claiming for himself perfect loyalty to God, he urged that changes in the order and laws of heaven were necessary for the stability of the divine government. So someone who's not happy with the way things are being run and he thinks that he can do it better, right? Das ist jemand, der ähm, nicht ähm, ja, glücklich ist darüber, wie Dinge ähm, laufen und der denkt, dass er es besser kann. Very subtly sows these seeds of dissent, right? Und sehr unterschwellig seht er diese Samen des, der Zwietracht. Okay. Thus, while working to excite opposition to the law of God and to instill his own discontent into the minds of the angels under him, He was ostensibly seeking to remove dissatisfaction and to reconcile disaffected angels to the order of heaven. So he puts the dissent in their heart and then says, look, let, let's, let's try to solve this problem. We, we, we need to be loyal, right? And showing that he's not really dissented, right? So er versucht diesen Zweifel, oder er sieht diesen Zweifel in anderen und dann sagt er, ähm, ähm, komm, wir müssen dieses Problem lösen, wir müssen treu sein. Um, and he is not. Er gibt dem Schein des Loyal Ferrer. Ah. He, he makes out that he's loyal, but really he's the one sowing the dissent. Okay, also er gibt vor, dass er dann um, treu ist, aber eigentlich ist er derjenige, der diesen, also diese Zwietracht sieht. It says, while secretly fermenting discord and rebellion, he was consummate, he with consummate craft caused it to appear as his sole purpose to promote loyalty and to preserve harmony and peace. Such a deception, right? In great mercy, according to his divine character, God bore long with Lucifer. The spirit of discontent and disaffection had never before been known in heaven. It was a new element, strange, mysterious, unaccountable. Lucifer himself had not at first been acquainted with the real nature of his feelings. For a time he had feared to express the workings and imaginings of his mind, yet he did not dismiss them. Now we've had this in this ministry many times. Right? We this in our ministry very often. It's not a strange thing here to see this, right? It's not strange that we see this here. Okay. But most of the people that advocated this have gone. The most people who have done this He did not see whether he was drifting, but such efforts as infinite love and wisdom only could devise were made to convince him of his error. So God's people do everything they can to convince Lucifer, who's going to turn from that light of his error. Right? Also Gottes Volk wird alles tun, damit sie Lucifer ähm, von seinem Irrtum ähm, dann äh, überzeugen können. His disaffection was proved to be without cause and he was made to see what would be the result of persisting in revolt. Lucifer was convinced that he was in the wrong. He saw that the Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works that the divine statutes are just and that he ought to acknowledge them as such before all heaven. Had he done this, he might have saved himself and many angels. He had not at that time fully cast off his allegiance to God, though he had left his position as covering cherub. So he's been now removed from the position that he had, right? So he wird jetzt von seiner Position weggenommen, die er hatte. Yet, If he had been willing to return to God, acknowledging the Creator's wisdom and satisfied to fill the place appointed him in God's great plan, he would have been reinstated in his office. The time had come for a final decision. He must fully yield to the divine sovereignty 
or place himself in open rebellion. He nearly reached the decision to return, but pride forbade him. It was too great a sacrifice for one who had been so highly honoured to confess that he had been in error, that his imaginings were false, and to yield to the authority which he had been working to prove unjust. A compassionate creator in yearning pity for Lucifer and his followers was seeking to draw them back from the abyss of ruin into which they were about to plunge. And Lucifer accused God of tyranny. Right? Und Lucifer hat Gott angeklagt mit Tyrannei. He was basically saying, you're just like the Pope. Er hat im Grunde gesagt, du bist genauso wie der Papst. Right? But really, he was the Pope. Aber right? in Wirklichkeit war er der Papst. It says, but his mercy was misinterpreted. Lucifer pointed to the long suffering of God as an evidence of his own superiority, an indication that the king of the universe would yet accede to his terms. If the angels would stand, stand firmly with him, he declared, they could yet gain all that they desired. He persistently defended his own course, right? He always made himself out to be the victim. He had immer um, sich zum Opfer gemacht. And fully committed himself to the great controversy against his maker. Thus it was that Lucifer, the light bearer, the sharer of God's glory, the attendant of his house, of his throne, by transgression became Satan, the adversary of God and holy beings, and the destroyer of those whom heaven had committed to his guidance and guardianship. And brothers and sisters, this history will repeat, right? Geschwister, diese Geschichte wird sich wiederholen. There's a Satan in every one of our hearts. Es gibt right? einen Satan in jedem einzelnen von unseren Herzen. And if we don't follow these principles, right, and continually try to justify ourselves, und wenn right? wir diesen Prinzipien nicht folgen und uns beständig selbst versuchen zu rechtfertigen, go on our knees and confess all our unrighteousness, right? Dann müssen wir zu unseren, äh, auf unsere Knie gehen und all unsere Gerechtigkeit Ungerechtigkeit bekennen. Iniquity will be found in us, right? Sonst wird Ungerechtigkeit in uns gefunden. When he suddenly comes to his temple, he, we will be exposed, right? Und wenn er plötzlich zu seinem Tempel kommt, dann wirst du ähm, offenbart werden. And we will then become Satan, the enemy of God, Und Wir right? werden dann Satan werden, der Feind Gottes. Amen. Amen. Right? So das ist Two temples. Which one are we going? To? Are we going to be Satan or are we going to be Lucifer? Right? Es gibt diese zwei Tempel. Welchen werden wir sein? Werden wir Satan sein oder Lucifer? Okay, let's close with prayer. Dann lass es mit Gebet abschließen. Lieber himmlischer Vater, ich will dir danken für das Wort, was du uns heute Morgen gegeben hast. Und ich bete, dass du uns hilfst, dass wir keinen murrenden Geist haben. Und ich bete auch, dass du uns hilfst, dass wir keinen murrenden Geist haben. Und ich bete auch, dass du uns hilfst, dass wir keinen murrenden Geist haben. Und ich bete auch, dass du uns hilfst, dass wir It was also for them to, that situations had to be changed. Und ich bete, dass du. Sorry. In Apostelgeschichte 7. Und ich bete auch, dass du uns so wie in Apostelgeschichte 7. Wo diese Witwen auch ein Recht gehabt haben am Bach und gemurrt haben und dass trotzdem an der Situation eingegangen werden müssen. Um, da diese Witwen gemurrt haben und Situationen verändert werden mussten. And I pray that you will help us to consider all the scripture, all the verses, and bring it together that we can be in harmony. Und ich bitte, dass du uns hilfst, dass wir alle Schriften in Verse zusammenbringen, damit es in Harmonie sein kann. And I pray that you will help us on this day, that you will 
live, that we will live a life which is in accordance to your word. Und ich bete, dass du uns an diesem Tag hilfst, dass wir ein Leben leben, was in Übereinstimmung mit deinem Wort ist. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Jesu Namen bitte ich das. Amen. Amen.